Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Linux for Love and Passion. In this video, we are going to have a look how we can install uh, Vim plugins without using any sort of plugin managers like uh, Vimplug or Pathogen. Let's get started. I'll just type Vim and uh, this is how your uh, VI improved looks like. And if you want to learn about all these things, whatever the things that I'm teaching you today in depth, you can just do H that is like help and you can do like a pack a packages oops i'm just uh, forgetting the spelling of packages that's cringe so uh, when you type uh, packages here you can uh, get a nice little uh, page here and uh, you can read through this and learn about these packages uh, a lot Basically what it's saying is, uh, let's assume your Vim files are in uh, .vim directory and uh, you just have to create uh, this uh, pack subdirectory within .vim and after that you can create a, create an arbitrary directory. It could be anything. It could be foo, it could be among, it could be mango, monkey or whatever. And after that, uh, inside that uh, arbitrary directory that is like foo, you have to uh, create another directory called as start if you just scroll down and if you are able to understand all this and scroll down yeah create another directory called as start and after that inside that your plugins will go okay that is what this uh, entire explanation is saying i uh, have just uh, explained you in brief uh, let's see this in action so that you can uh, learn this effectively. I'm just quitting out of this and I will also quit out of Vim. Uh, make sure your Vim is um, 8 or 8 above. I mean the version of your Vim is uh, 8.0 8 or 8.0.2 or whatever. So uh, just check Vim and uh, version and uh, here you can see that yeah, Vim version is 8.2. If it is eight or above, then you will be able to install plugins without using any plugin manager. So let me show you the path. Um, and if you don't have .vim directory in your home directory, you just create, you just do like mkdir and create .vim, no big deal, right? I already have .vim uh, inside my home directory. Uh, cd.vim and uh, let me show you the path and uh, when i first installed vim i only had this uh, directory called as autoload uh, this is helpful when you are using some sort of um, plugin managers in order to add some plugins but uh, you need this one without any plugin managers you just create another directory called as pack let me go inside pack and see what is inside pack so inside pack uh, this is the time where you have to create some sort of arbitrary directory. You can call it anything. You can call it foo. You can call it tamog. You can call it whatever, right? And uh, I have just called this vendor. So let me get into vendor. And inside vendor, as you already know, there is this uh, folder called as start. Okay, let me go to start. And um, yeah, inside start, there is nothing. Let me show you the path. Uh, PWD this is what you have to do um, home directory and uh, let me enlarge this oh, it's not happening home directory this is your home directory yeah my uh, name or name of this computer is called as lol or whatever so inside your home directory uh, create this directory called as dot vim and it will not appear Okay, when you do ls because yeah, it's a dot file, you have to do ls or la in order to get the uh, dot files. So uh, this is a folder. Okay, it's not a file. And uh, yeah, folders are files in Linux, so that's a different topic. Uh, yeah, you just create this mkdir.vim and inside that uh, you create another directory called as pack and after that create a another arbitrary directory and you call it like whatever vendor vendi or vendiesel whatever and after that uh, you create another subdirectory called as start and uh, this is where your uh, plugins go okay 
I will install this uh, famous plugin. I think uh, that every uh, Vim enthusiast know that is called as Nerdtree, and I'm just going to uh, clone this here. I'm just copying, and I just have to uh, git clone and uh, sorry, git clone, and I just have to put it here in the start. That's it. So now you have this uh, Nertry plugin kind of installed on your uh, Vim. Okay, it means like it is uh, basically uh, it is reading the f files from there, but uh, this is the path that you have to create. So let's check it. I'm just doing Vim and uh, let me hit enter. So this is my Vim. And uh, in order to um, get Nertry, I will just uh, say colon and uh, I will do an E and I will hit tab and automatically it uh, completed and I will hit enter. So now you can see the nursery. So this is nursery and uh, on top of it, you can customize it like however you want. And um, I will just toggle this nursery toggle. So it is gone. So yeah, it's pretty simple. You just uh, create this uh, directory path that is your home folder, dot vim pack and uh, vendor or whatever the uh, arbitrary name. And inside that create another folder called as start and uh, just add your plugins there. Okay, that is how you do it in vim, the proper vim. So uh, the case of NVim or NeoVim is uh, pretty different. And this is where most of my friends, uh, they get confused because they think that, oh, everything is in like WimRC even, uh, yeah, you know, you can also create RC files in NVim. It's not like you cannot, but they think that all the configuration uh, will also be present in this default WimRC. So, yeah, it is kind of different. I'll show you, you don't have to go that deep. And um, I'm in my home folder. So if you do CD automatically, that will bring back to your home folder. So in home folder, you will have this um, dot directory or dot file called as like config. And uh, inside config, there will be NeoVim. That is where you have to go. And if I do LS, you will get uh, these three things initially uh, you'll only have this uh, init vim and um, yeah i've just uh, made this dot file for whatever so uh, again you have to uh, take the same approach that you took for vim you create a directory called as pack like you did in vim so go to pack right and uh, inside pack again i have this vendor this could be arbitrary this could be foo this could be yeah anything and i'm going inside vendor and uh, again i'm going inside start so now we don't have anything because i haven't installed any plugins here and if i do this pwd now you can see inside my home directory there is config inside config there is vim uh, i mean like nvim and inside my nvim uh, the same thing the pack the vendor that could be anything arbitrary and uh, the start so now again if i copy this and if i just uh, do git clone yeah nurture it's already there and if i hit enter it is just uh, cloning that to the start directory and boom so now if i do nvim so you can see this is my nvim and here it will uh, give me nerd and yeah, if I hit tab, it gave me like nursery. So here you can see like nursery, okay? And this is uh, where all these uh, settings go. Um, so that is how you do it. I'm quitting out of this, I'm quitting out of this. So it's pretty simple. The path is this, okay? Just create, go to your config and uh, inside config there will be nvim. If it is not, you just create the directory and pack and arbitrary name and start and inside the start, you will have your favorite um, plugins. So that is the video. Hope you like this video. I have tried to make it as simple as possible. It's pretty simple, okay? You don't have to uh, worry too much about this. If you don't want to go through the hassle of installing those uh, package uh, managers and plugin managers, uh, you can just uh, take this approach. 
but there is an advantage if you use those things probably i will uh, talk about it uh, in uh, my future videos it is like if you are if you want to change some sort of themes or something uh, that gives me sort of like modularity i can uh, place my files like and uh, put it uh, wherever i want so we'll talk about this but if you are looking for something simple this is the simple way just uh, follow this tutorial so that you can understand everything okay please like share and subscribe to the channel you can also uh, donate the link is in the description i will meet you in the next video until then take care bye bye